Hi there, this is Anvesh from Piximperfect and one of the most common questions that I usually get especially from underwater photographers is that how do we remove all the specks and the dirt from the photos? Is there an easy way to remove it? Well, that's why we created today's video. Usually when we use the clone stamp tool or the healing brush tool, it can be very tiresome trying to remove all of that one by one, right? There is a way to remove most of that in one sweep in most cases. But today I've taken up a challenging image which might require a little more attention so that no matter what image is thrown at you, you'll be able to fix it with no sweat. So without any further ado, let's get started. Back in the magical world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download this photo and follow along, you already know what to do. Check the links in the description. The first thing we need to do, some of you might have guessed it, is pressing Ctrl or Command J, make a duplicate of the background layer. Right there. Let's name this Removal 1, all right? This is the first pass. Now, before we apply any filter, what do we do? We convert that into a smart object so that we can change the values later. Let's go to Filter and then Convert for Smart Filters. Hit OK. That way, whatever filter we apply, we will be able to manipulate the values later after the fact. Let's go to Filter and then Noise and Dust and scratches. This is the trick, my friend. The first thing we need to do is to take the threshold all the way to the left. Now, keep in mind, you might not be able to remove all of it in one sweep, all right? Pay attention to the details. We also want to recover the details. Take the radius all the way to the left. So keep in mind, when you apply dust and scratches, first of all, take both the radius and the threshold all the way to the left. And then slowly and gradually increase the radius. See all the specs are starting to go away. Slowly and gradually increase it. All right. The specs are away from this area, but this area still has a little bit of the specs, right? If you go any further right here, you will lose the details. So for the first pass, keep the radius at about 12. Keep the radius as minimum as possible so that you can recover as much details. The next step is slowly and gradually increasing the threshold. And as you do that, let's zoom in. And as you do that, you will see the noise coming back the texture coming back, but the specs are not coming back. If you go too further, the specs will be back too. So you need to find that balance. So slowly and gradually begin to increase it and stop at just the point where you begin to see those dirt particles. So if we go beyond something like 13, the dirt particles begin to show up. And even right here, the dirt particles show up very early. So let's go a little bit to the left. Just at about eight, that seems to be all right. Hit okay. This is the first Pass. Now, of course, we don't want to apply it over the fish. So how do we take that away? Simply click on the mask button right there. Take a brush, take a soft round brush and then simply paint over the fish. As simple as that with black. What is the concept of mask? Black hides and white shows. So we want to hide this from the fish area. So just paint over that area in black. Now you can take your time to be very precise with the selection. But just to show you, just to demo this, I'm going to quickly do this. To check if any areas are left out, hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the mask and then fill those areas. Hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the mask again and then paint back. This seems to be all right, but there's a problem. The specs seem to be gone from these detailed areas in the background. But what about these blank areas? There are still some dirt particles left over there. So how do we fix that? Well, again, it's easy. Create one more pass. So with the background layer selected, press Ctrl or Command J again. And let's name this Removal 2. All right. Let's place it above Removal 1. And again, go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters, hit OK. And now, just simply copy this Dust and Scratches filter to Removal 2. And that's the advantage of Smart Objects. You can copy filters, you can move filters, right? So all you got to do is to open this up, right? If this is collapsed, open this up by clicking on this arrow right there. Hold the Alt key or the Option key, click and drag the Smart Filters to Removal 2. That way it's copied right over there as well. And in this case, we will just simply increase the values. So double click on Dust and Scratches. And again, that's one other advantage of Smart Object that we learned. We can change the values later. We are using it right now. Change the radius to a higher number where everything is gone. So I would go for somewhere about 30. Let's go that high. And threshold, we can increase it just a little bit. 10 is fine. Hit OK. Now again, all you have to do in here is to hold the Alt key or the Option key and then click on the mask button. This will create a negative mask. When you hold that Alt or Option key, it tells Photoshop that create a mask and automatically invert it. So by holding the Alt key or the Option key, we are clicking on the mask button. This is a black mask. Now all you got to do is to take the brush, white as the foreground color, take a soft round brush and simply paint on the areas where you see the dirt. That's all you got to do. You can also go to the detailed areas and remove some 
dirt from between them. How easy was that? Let's take a look at the before and after. So here's the before, here's the after. So easily, all of that gone, removed, and the background is retained. Now you must be thinking there's also some dirt over the fish. It would be intelligent to not remove that using dust and scratches because that way you will begin to lose details. Because let me show you what happens. If we go to this layer, removal one, and try to remove all of this dirt from here by painting with white, see we are losing details over there. So it's best to reserve the clone stamp tool or the healing brush tool for complicated areas. All right. So at the very top, create a stamp visible layer. Why not a blank layer? Because we are not going to be using the clone stamp tool or the healing brush tool. We are going to be using something faster. So press Control, Alt, Shift and E, Command, Option, Shift and E to create a stamp visible layer at the top, which means everything that you see in the canvas merged into one layer. You can name this removal of dirt over the fish if you want to have that complicated name. Then select the lasso tool right here and just circle all the dirt. So circle it, hold the shift key and then circle the other one. This changes it to a lasso plus so you can add to the selection. We are just adding different dirts, dirt particles, whatever you want to call it. All right, this seems to be about right. If there's anything left out, you can take your time to do it yourself. Then simply go to edit and then content aware fill. If you're using an old version of Photoshop, you might not see this. In that case, you would have to go to fill and then choose content aware and hit OK. But if you are using a newer version, simply go to edit and then choose content aware fill. A brand new dialog box will show up. Here you can choose which areas to sample from where to not. But I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at default. Now, if you want to keep it non-destructive, absolutely non-destructive, then you can choose output to new layer. All right. And then hit OK. What will happen is all of that filled in area will be on a brand new layer. Press Control or Command D to deselect and have a look at it automatically we removed all of that and that too non-destructively right now they are on a brand new layer and we can actually delete this we can actually delete removal of dirt over the fish that complicated name layer and there you have it we could have done it in the beginning but i forgot it so there you go have a look at the before and after so here's the before here's the after isn't that wonderful so that's how to easily remove dirt and specks in no time with photoshop all you have to do is to create a copy of the background layer, turn it into a smart object and that's very important so that you can change the values later and in case you add multiple passes, you would need to copy the dust and scratches filter to the other one. Once you convert that, apply the dust and scratches filter. Take the radius and the threshold all the way to the left. Slowly and gradually increase the radius until that dirt is removed and then gradually increase the threshold to the point where the dirt shows up. Once you're satisfied with the values, just hit OK and then mask in the areas where you need to remove them. You can add multiple passes for different areas and on top of that you can of course use content aware fill, you can use the clone stamp tool or the healing brush tool to just polish the results. I hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. I would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting this channel on Patreon and helping keep Pix Imperfect free for everybody forever. Thanks so much for all your support, thank you for watching, I'll see you guys again in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.